See, hold up, hold up. Because now we're talking about a whole different role. Welcome back. Today, we are reading more cringy social media management job postings. So let's jump right on into it, shall we? All right, we have a remote job here. Love that. Tweet, tweet. Want a hashtag career? Where you're encouraged to be on hashtag social media every day? We can stop right there because tweet, tweet. It's enough for me, dog. Meme lord or lady? I don't actually know the accent for this. I've never watched Game of Thrones. Are you a king or queen of memes? We are looking for a master or a mistress of memes or a meme lady slash lord. A witty wordsmith that feeds on Facebook, speaks in 280 characters or less, and can create Insta Insta in a snap. It's just so much going on. It's so wordy. It's so wordy. Um, blah, blah. Essentially, you'll be paid to make memes all day. How good is that? How good is that? So what are your royal duties, you may ask? Development and scheduling of content across Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Twitter. Here's my question. If I am to be a mistress of memes, a meme lady, or a witty wordsmith, what am I gonna be putting on YouTube? Do memes go on LinkedIn? I don't know, this is just reading that you don't quite understand what goes on certain platforms. I could be wrong. Work closely with the content specialist and graphic designer in producing social content that is on brand, engaging, and relevant to our audience. So if there's a graphic designer, why do I need to be the meme mistress? Am I telling him what to put on the meme? Maybe that's what, maybe that's what it is. Uh, ensuring all content is scheduled for posting minimum one week in advance. I love that. We, we want to stay ahead. We don't want to be behind. You don't want to be creating content the week of. So kudos to them for that one. Provide support with influencer management and PR reach outs. See, hold up, hold up. Because now we're talking about a whole different role. Am I to be the meme mistress as well as the PR help rep? It just kind of seemed like this role is a little all over the place. Like they had me with the meme lady and the meme mistress and all that, but it just doesn't seem like they quite understand all of what you're going to be doing. So because of that, it's a no for me, dog. Got a little internship here. Now remember, internships, you should actually be learning things and not just performing a bunch of job duties. So your responsibilities will include managing Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Zing pages. I don't even know what Zing is. Let me, what is Zing? Is that a search engine? I don't think so. Zing is a social network. Ideas for a new world of work. All right, well, you better know how to use Zing. Create visual contents using Photoshop. Photoshop is a whole beast on its own, okay? Like, Photoshop, it's not for the week. Schedule posts using later.com. Create weekly newsletter on Wix.com. See, we starting to, let me hold on. Design event posters. Post our events on the website, Eventbrite, LinkedIn, Zing, and other platforms. Stop right here. Y'all, this is the job of like three or four different people. First of all, a social, this is our intern. A social media intern should not be doing half of these things anyway. But beyond that, a newsletter, that's a different role. Okay, and then creating those visual contents using Photoshop, can a social media manager do that? Absolutely, but also that a lot of times for companies is the job of a graphic designer. Now, should said job not have a graphic designer? Sure, the social media manager can do that, but not the intern. You're asking a lot. Let's, let's, let's keep reading because are you getting paid for this? You are a perfect fit if you're a self-starter and you're detail-oriented. You are eager to learn about social media and digital marketing. How are you supposed to learn about it when you're just doing all of it? Especially, let's, let's, let's back up. Research and implement strategies to grow social media presence. That is a whole strategist. You are expected, expected to work 25 hours a week, which is five hours a day. Y'all, y'all, y'all. This internship is un. Hey, but there are opportunities to earn a bonus. In addition to become a blank manager, 
You will also get a recommendation letter and a certificate when you finish your internship. This is full of red flags. This is full of a company trying to get over on an intern and posing a guy, a whole full job as an internship. It's enough for me, dog. All right. Basically, if you are looking for an easy role where turning up to work to pick up your nine to five check is all you care about, then we likely aren't for you. However, if you are looking for a challenging role that involves you working hard, studying your ass off, and becoming the very best, best version of yourself, then this may be for you. Now, I've learned over time that telling you straight up that this role requires hustle and hard work is gonna eliminate at least 95% of the candidates. I just don't know why they think we care. We're not looking for an average player. We're looking for an A-grade person with a big heart and an open mind. I don't know what an A-grade person is. And maybe that's just me. If y'all know what an A-grade person is, list it down below. I don't think I've heard of such. You also have to execute like a beast. <laughs> If you're afraid of computers and have no desire to learn, scroll on by. Why do we always get these angry people with these job postings? They come off so angry. They must be sped up. You will be responsible for liaising and retaining clients who invest multi five figures per year with us and making sure that they're happy and have everything that they need. That sounds like a personal assistant, okay? You will be responsible for posting on our social channels and keeping things fresh and up to date. Now that sounds fair. That sounds fair. We can do that. If after reading this, it excites you rather than scares you, I'd love to hear from you. But don't forget that you must be self-motivated and want to work in a place that has an infectious positive attitude and celebrates big wins together. I cannot tell. If you're miserable, please don't apply. Do I even have to say it? Let's say it together. It's a no for me, dog. Like I said before, are all of these job postings terrible? No, but we still gonna have a good time. And if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more of it, you make sure you subscribe because it's free to do. And you might as well go ahead and share the video because that's free and somebody else you know may enjoy it. And until next time, peace.